Hi, FIU Law. Today, I'm sharing a commencement speech by FIU Law alum, Daniel Cortez. Daniel gave this speech in 2019. I invite you to listen to his raw reflections on his story and to think about yours. What is your story? Owning and sharing your story can help counter feelings of disconnection and isolation. See what it did for Daniel. Class of 2019, we made it. We all came to FIU for a reason. Something in us inspired us to devote three years of our lives to this journey. But what we didn't expect was the amount of debt that we would be leaving with today. I'm not talking about our student loans. You know, lawyers don't do math. I'm talking about our debt to society. There's no doubt that we're all here because we've worked hard, putting countless hours in the library and racking up our Lexus points. But we're all here because we've been very lucky. And my luck has been my parents. My parents brought me here to, from Columbia when I was six and worked double and triple jobs to make sure I had everything I ever needed. And in return, I did well in school and received a full scholarship to a top university. Little did I know I was undocumented and could not accept the scholarship. And I remember this day vividly when the recruiter said, good luck, and she hung up. Distraught, I asked as many people as possible for help. And eventually, I was able to get some private scholarships. And with the help of some money that my dad saved up, I was able to go to another university. The feelings that I experienced when I was undocumented will never leave my body. And society made me feel so inhuman that I vowed to make sure that I would make everybody feel as comfortable as possible when they're around me. Fast forward to today, I am a US citizen. And I'm in front of my FIU family who has always made me feel welcomed and for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And to my parents, it was worth it. Valió la pena. Los amo. If it wasn't for what you did, I would not be here today. I think there's a leak up top. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sue, it's okay. <laughs> That's just a small piece of my story. And I hope that you can reflect on your story. Please, please don't forget your story. Because the more you reflect on your story, the easier it will be to repay your debt to society. And the truth is that I became so involved in school because it was therapeutic. I devoted my time to pro bono work, pipeline programs, mentoring. And I did this for the sake of my sanity at the expense of my loans. <laughs> but um, after one L year, I was so emotionally distraught from the types of cases that we were reading, how cold they were, countless of cases disregarding who I was, who we are. The more words I would read, the less human I would feel. And in support of my proposition, I'd like to set a case, JDB versus North Carolina, a Supreme Court case. Now I'm gonna cite to an oral argument, and I know it's probably worse than dicta, so please bear with me. And Justice Alito said, sympathetic cases can make bad law. And when I heard that, I stopped and I said, wait a minute, I'm bad law. I was bad law when my guidance counselor said she'd go to jail for helping me. I was bad law when I couldn't get a scholarship because I didn't have a social. I was bad law the second that I stepped foot in this country. But don't worry, I got over it quickly because this bad law has a JD. And this bad law can pass the bar, 80% chance. And this bad law is gonna be a lawyer.
Now, this is how we repay our debt. Regardless of what type of law that you practice, go out of your way and fight for justice. No matter how big or small it is, if it sounds sympathetic, we need your voice. Don't be blinded by the words written decades ago, but take a second to look into the eyes of those around you. If we look to our left and look to our right and we love each other unconditionally, we cannot fail. And I know this is possible because I've seen it firsthand here at FIU. Let's live in a society when we're not lucky to be in this room. Let's choose to use our skills to change the status quo. Let's be the real gatekeepers of justice. And don't forget your humanity. Congratulations, class of 2019. Let's go make some bad law. <laughs>